We get screwed over and over and over again. That's right. Van Vicious wasn't in the Cobra Cup tournament. And you know what whose fault it was? It was King Cobra's fault. You know what? Matter of fact, I want to file a complaint right now. I want them two out here. I want King Cobra. And I want Michael out here right now. What's the complaint about? The complaint is you're always screwing us over. Do you realize you have screwed us over from day one? You put barricade after barricade and tried to keep down the Hollywood clique. What y'all going in the ring is between your man and his opponent. Now, if it, if it doesn't come out the way he wanted, that's not on me. I signed the contract. I get you to sign the contract, and that's it. You agree to the match so that I'm through with it. I'll tell you what, you ain't taking it serious. I'll go over your head. I'll go over your head. You know what? I got pulled in this company, and I swear to you, I'll go over your head. Well, let me tell you something. You can go over my head, but don't try to go through me. That's the last time you put your hand on me. Time to make the world recognize we ain't playing, yo. Off the top, smashing folk, hitting with the gun show. Everybody gon' flip, and that's off the rip. We are Memphis Wrestling, now you know who you messing with. Five Star, that's the name. Maria's here to change the game. M Dub on my chest, got me slamming all you lame. You ain't know you messing with the real dealer. From the super kick and body slamming show stealer. Started out in the M Memphis, Tennessee. Watching wrestling every Saturday on TV. It's only the beginning. Now it's time to play. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another exciting edition of Memphis Wrestling. I am Dustin Starr alongside my co host, tag team partner, Terrence Ward. And boy, do we have a huge day of action for you here today. I got to tell you what, this opening bout I'm excited for because I tell you what, it's going to be one of those matches that it ain't going to be a normal match. It's going to be, we're going to bring some flowers and we're going to sing some hymns because we're going to be planning a wake, a funeral, a celebration of life. If you put it that way, let's not waste any time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Gun Show. Boo! The following contest is our opening bound, set for one fall. Introducing first from Gate City, Tennessee, boom, the boom, Gun boom, Show. Boom, boom, boom. Sorry, Terrence, I'm into it. Because today, you're right. Funeral arrangements could be made for Reverend Ash Taylor because the gun show is calling out Reverend Ash Taylor right here today. We heard from the gun show last week and now we're kicking things off with the one and only former two-time Memphis Heritage Champion, the gun show. Wait a second. Gun show doing here. Oh, brand new t-shirt you can get at memphiswrestling.tv, the righteous trash. And he's talking about the righteous path. And introducing next, his opponent, accompanied by the members of the righteous path from the sanctuary, Keep that Reverend Ash Taylor. Did you say he's from the sanctuary? Eh, that or the compound. You gotta be kidding me here, but you can see the condition. Why do they keep bringing me the righteous Ryan, who is alongside Brother Bruce and Reverend Ash Taylor? Is he really going to get in the ring with the gun show? And I think they're trying to recruit you, Terrence. A couple of your comments as of late have me questioning you as well. Listen, I, I, there's no chance in hell that I will join the righteous path. Okay, well, that is good to hear that it's officially official. But I can't wait until this bell rings and we see the gun show one-on-one -on -one with Reverend Ash Taylor. Quite possibly just wasting as much time as he, pan as he can. Perhaps he has a plan? <sighs> if you figure that out, you let us know. Well, he's got to. There's no way this man right here is gonna square up toe-to-toe -to -toe with the gun show. Bell rings, and we are underway, one-on-one. -on -one. And if you remember a couple weeks back, Reverend Ash Taylor immediately off the heels of the gun show losing the Memphis Heritage Championship came off and offered a spot in the righteous path. He told the gun show to follow. Yeah, and he said there was no chance. I don't know if you saw that, but Righteous Ryan swiping at the legs of the gun show. 
These two men exchanging words here on your screen. The gun show is not afraid of the righteous path. Didn't take him long to say no and tear up the pamphlet. I see you're still hanging on to your pamphlet, Terrence. Well, I, we don't have any papers up here for my nose, so I've got to have something. He's going to knock him out. Knock him out, gun show. But why is he so chill about it? That's what I can't understand. This oh, now, is wait a minute. Why wait he's a so minute. Chill about oh, it. come on. Because it was a setup the whole time. A setup the whole time. The referee's smart to get out of there. Now it's three on one. The righteous path said they're stronger than ever. And it appears that they are, but oh, here comes Gun Show. Oh my God! Big Spine Buster! Get you some, Righteous Ryan. Look <laughs> at Ryan. Begging off. Gun Show. Not going to let him off that easy. Hooks him. Gun Show's notorious for his standing delayed suplex as he locks eyes with Reverend Ash Taylor. And hoists Righteous Ryan as he stares a hole right through Reverend Ash Taylor. And Ash Taylor, though, not backing down. I don't know if I don't know if Ash Taylor is playing hockey with a warped puck, but for him to still be in the ring is a concern. What did you say? I think the fans are at 23, 24. Big standing delayed suplex by the gun show. And now that Brother Bruce and Righteous Ryan are out of the way. It's Reverend Ash Taylor all uh -oh. by himself. See it all. I think I saw the oh same goodness. thing you did, and that is Morrow. Morrow squaring up with the gun show here. We saw his debut at Super Bout attacking Big John Dalton. Look at Reverend Ash Taylor here from behind. Absolutely oh. clobbers the gun show in the back with that collection plate. Now Morrow hooks the gun show. Big DDT and down goes the gun show, Brett Michaels. Well, enough is enough. Referee has been calling for, for assistance and here comes the zebra pack. Fans, just take a look back real quick before the break. The instant replay brought to you by Kapow Comics. Morrow hitting a devastating reverse DDT on the gun show. That is definitely Kapow. 501-834-5769. And we've got to step away for a break, but the damage is done. Fans, don't you dare go away. More Memphis wrestling on the other side. Gun Show needs some help. Get the hell out of here, guys. You gotta be kidding me. Gun Show's hat. The new $1.99 Sonic Crispy Tender Wraps are here for a limited time in bold flavors like Hickory Barbecue or Cheesy Baja. Give yourself some TLC, tender, love, and chicken for only $1.99. Sonic Crispy Tender Wraps. The Memphis Wrestling Fan of the Week is sponsored by Orion Federal Credit Union. Check out all the ways that Orion is redefining banking at orionfcu.com. We aren't just here to see patients. We're here to help people walk out our doors, whether it's life-saving trauma care, advancing oncology treatment, or helping patients reclaim their independence. We're always here for you. Regional One Health, specializing in tomorrows. Buff Daddy is coming to Memphis Wrestling this Sunday, April 21st. Show up, get in line, break in line, whatever it takes. Buff Daddy's coming live and in color. Memphis Wrestling, look out. Hey, guys, stop looking. It's Big John Dalton. No way. Oh, man. Uh, Matt, Matt, did you know that Big John Dalton is on a big, fat losing streak? I know. I bet. I bet there's no way he could win a match right now, even if he tried. Uh, probably not. Even if he tried, how does how you feel about trying? I want to try. How about you go one on one with Big John Dalton? Uh, uh, yeah, one on one, me and you. Sure, sure. Yeah. I'm not scared of him. That's, I'm not scared of Big John Dalton. That's right, Dalton. It'll be one on one. Yeah, one on one. Gaston's on a winning streak. Hey, sorry, me. I forgot to forgot to tell you. You, sir, are going to be banned from ringside. What? What? Michael? 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 One on one. <laughs> Welcome back to Memphis Wrestling, and joining me at this time, leading the way is 
delicious Van Vicious and Secret Service. They really love you here. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Jimmy Blaylock and his Hollywood click. And Jimmy, the phones at the offices of Memphis Wrestling have been blowing up all week because of you. I hope you're proud of yourself. I'm very proud of myself. I told you I was gonna go above your head, King Cobra and Michael, and I did it. Why don't you tell them what happened? Why don't you, matter of fact, I don't want you to, why don't you bring him out here and tell him what happened? I want King Cobra and Michael out here right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as the capacity crowd chants, you suck, we're gonna go ahead and bring out the Memphis Wrestling matchmaker, King Cobra, and his assistant, Michael. Cobra, good to see you. Mr. Michael, thank you for coming out. All right, Jimmy, they're out here. You know what, let me tell you something. You are the biggest mistake in Memphis wrestling, and you are too. Let me tell you something. You have taken this man and put barricades all around him, and he can't do anything without you getting in his way. You, you didn't even let him be in the Cobra Cup tournament. Do you understand me? Not only that, you let these idiot fans sign up. You know, shut up and listen. You let these idiot fans sign a petition against me, trying to get rid of me. Some of these people signed 20 times. 20. That's illegal. That's an illegal petition. Not only that, you had a match with Van Vicious versus Ray Collins with my career on the line. I don't see no other managers going through that. So guess what? I went over your head. Matter of fact, I want something done about it. I would like to have both of you terminated from this company. And I want you terminated. Tell them what I did. Tell them. All right, guys. King Cobra, Michael, Jimmy Blaylock indeed went over your head earlier this week. Jimmy Blaylock called directly to the championship committee, and he complained that you guys are unfit to make matches at Memphis Wrestling. He even said that he could make better matches than you guys could. And I regret to inform you that, gentlemen, you're now officially under investigation by the championship committee. Finally, something was done right. You need to be investigated. Cobra, Michael, I sincerely apologize. I had nothing to do with it. Jimmy Blaylock made the call, and it's official. You guys are under investigation. King Cobra. Okay, look, you can investigate me all you want. I don't do anything but sign the matches. And if we sign the matches the way we want it, the way the people want it, the way the company. You're biased. You're biased against us. You're biased. Listen, I tell you what, I've had enough of this grimace. You're out here running your mouth 24 7. That's all you do is run your mouth. Maybe your boy just ain't got it, huh? You ever think about that? You ever think, what do you think, Cobra? Hey, I'm like, he said, as long as I'm the matchmaker, I'm gonna make one more match right here today. And I'm gonna make this match Van Vicious with Michael. Today's main event, one on one, Van Vicious versus Michael. What do you think, fans? King Cobra made it official. That's our main event. Whether he's under investigation or not, fans, we got a huge main event. Don't dare go away. More Memphis Wrestling when we return. Absolutely crushes Jay Smooth. The referee needs to get this. He said ring the bell. He just counted him out, it looks like. Bell rings. Double count out. Ladies and gentlemen, as a result of a double countout, this match has resulted in a no contest. Psycho Simon has lost his mind. Come on. I'm just the messenger here. Wait just a second, Psycho Simon. Hell did I do. No more destruction. No more. You've been reinstated. you got what you wanted. Listen up. Get over here. Oh, come on. Hey, do you know what it's like for your best friend to call you a psycho? 
Hey, I heard you say it, and I've heard everybody say it. You stay right here, Mr. Star. I am a walking, talking, eating, sleeping, breathing nightmare. And each and every person, don't you touch my hand, Dustin Star. I will bite each of your Come fingers on. off right here in front of this camera. Don't you forget it. Ladies and gentlemen, more Memphis wrestling when we return. What the hell is wrong with him? The following contest is set for one fall. Introducing first, making his way to the ring, Psycho Simon. I don't know why he's looking at me. You've already been reprimanded. You've been warned. They've taken some money out of your pocket. Psycho Simon, and now he's staring a hole through me. You don't put your hands on me. You saw it just a moment ago. Psycho Simon has absolutely lost his mind. And when we return, he is in singles competition against somebody that's got a round of bad luck, if you ask me. I'm sorry, Terrence, I'm a little bit nervous. He's stalking around the ringside area here. Fans, don't you dare go away. Psycho Simon is up next. with the code buff at checkout. Then head over to Dave & Buster's for AEW Dynasty. It's free to watch. Plus, we'll give you a free power card. Friday, May 3rd, Memphis Wrestling returns to West Carroll for a huge fundraiser benefiting the West Carroll Touchdown Club. Sunday, May 5th, WWE legend Brooklyn Brawler is coming to Memphis Wrestling. Thursday, May 9th, don't miss Bump & Grind Wrestling 2 at Lafayette's Music Room in Memphis. All tickets are on sale now. Get yours right now at MemphisWrestling.tv. He's definitely all man for trying. Oh, as 100%. the bell rings, and we're officially underway, and there's a handshake. Oh, are you crazy? God. Jake Painter might be new to Memphis Wrestling, but somebody should have warned him. Just shake hands with Psycho Simon. And you could see Jake Painter fighting like hell, even though Simon with a quick advantage, with a phony handshake, now carrying Painter all the way around the ring. Look at the strength of Psycho Simon. What a body slam. Psycho Simon in control. Jake Painter is in a tough spot here. And there's the standing on the hair. That definitely hurts. Simon was actually victorious to get reinstated into oh, Memphis. Yes. The cameraman needs to be careful get reinstated in a play by the rules match. We didn't Ooh. think it was possible, but he did. He pinned Michael to get reinstated, put his hands on me and got himself in trouble again. Was counted out the last time, beating his opponent all over the ringside area and on the verge of being disqualified again here today. Well, referee David Knight again telling Simon that he's got to play by the rules, but that's not the stipulation of, well, it is a stipulation oh, of this. Match, but that is over 350 pounds standing on Jake Painter's back. 
choking him across the bottom rope. You know, Simon, at this point, is almost like a big toddler that you keep telling no over and over and over again. A big toddler? Yes, that you know they don't like, ever listen. Sounds like it's coming from a, a dad, if you ask me. Well, he's not a toddler yet, but he definitely bears some of the attitude of his old man, that's for sure. Psycho Simon once again being reprimanded by referee David Knight. Simon is in all kinds of trouble, can't play by the rules. Had money taken from his paycheck. Simon scoops up Jake Painter once again. Big body slam perhaps. Nope. Wait a minute. Behind. Oh! Backcracker! Backbreaking Holy artist is here. Moly! Simon, Better step out of the out. ring. He's in the drop zone. No oh, block. God in heaven. Jake Painter spills hard to the floor. Oh, what is that? And Simon throwing off his elbow pads. We've seen this before. Simon has has lost his mind, even more so. Now he's throwing oh, Jake come on. Painter into the front row. Oh, and that chair just fell right at Simon's feet, and surprisingly, he didn't pick the chair up. Yet. He's got Jake Painter literally oh, now, in the on. front row. Now he's got a chair. Referee David Knight says he's going to ring the bell if he does it. Throws it at Jake. Ring the bell. That's a disqualification, and Simon is going nuts. Who is he talking to? Now he's hit himself. Absolute maniac. Referee David Knight calling for some help. Here comes the Zebras. Referee David Knight. Oh, come on. Is our head official here at Memphis Wrestling, and he's calling for some help. As Simon absolutely demolishing Jake Painter. Now he's headed this way. Thanks, Terrence. I might need that hammer. Fans, don't you dare go away. More Memphis wrestling on the other side. Let's get Jake Painter some help. Well, yeah, here, cut to the go, video. Take, here, go after Simon. Take Zay Washington, let's show it. Kidding me. Days, and now look at this. After a high five, they quickly turn on each other because it's every man for themselves. Who is going to win? Super Bout Battle Royal, our first ever. Zay Washington oh, nearing wait. elimination here. Dreamer lighting up. A little flip flop and fly. Oh, wait, he missed. Oh! Big kick God. by Blake Christian. Now, not to sell Tommy Dreamer short, but he was the last time we saw him, he was the Rhino. TNA Digital Media Champion. Ryan, oh, and look at that. Low blow down goes Zay, and he gone. is eliminated. Meanwhile, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Memphis Wrestling, and joining me at this time is the chosen one, Zay Washington. Zay, welcome to the broadcast position. We saw the highlights from Super Bout 3 just a moment ago. You've been on a hot streak lately, Zay. Uh, you mind if I take this real quick, if you don't mind? So. First of all, I want to get this off my chest. You know, usually, I like to get in the ring and handle my business. Yeah! But I got some things that I really do need to get off my chest. Super Bout was a great event for a lot of people. It wasn't for me. This is why Super Bout wasn't for me. I was robbed of my opportunity by somebody I thought I trusted, by somebody I called a brother, by somebody I even traveled the roads with. So, Blake Christian, all heart. I know you watching. You know, just like I know, just like these people know, just like they know, I'm one of the best wrestlers in the world. And I challenge you for the GCW heavyweight title. Zay Washington just issued a challenge against the GCW World Champion, but here comes the internet champion, Aaron Roberts, along with Justin Case. What the heck are you guys doing out here? I'm sorry, Zay. You hold it for me. Did I just hear you challenge Blake Christian, the GCW World Champion? I thought that was your best friend you sent to defend you a few months ago. And it seems Zay Washington can't hold a friendship. 
And there's only one common denominator there. Zay, you won a challenge for the GCW world title when you couldn't even hold on to this internet title, Playboy. If I remember correctly, you the one who disgraced that internet title by spray painting right here. Now you want to act like you're the face of the internet champion? That's what you want to do? If it sounds like you ain't nothing but an egg sucking hypocrite. Sucker punch. That was dirty. Just in case, helping out here. Now it looks like Aaron Roberts and Zay Washington fighting in the ring. And Zay's on fire. Oh my goodness. Down goes the chosen one. What in the hell is transpired? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's here Tim Bosby. Here comes the buzz. The man that Aaron Roberts defeated for the Memphis Wrestling here Internet Championship is here in ringside. I almost got punched in the face, and here comes the boss. And just in case, just in time, stepping between the problem child and the boss, I gotta say, just in case is being very smart here. Fans are chanting, whoop that trick, but it looks like Aaron Roberts is tucking his tail between his legs and heading out. Meanwhile, standing tall in the ring, it's the boss and the chosen one. Fans, don't you dare go away. We're gonna restore some order. And we'll be right back. You know, I must, you know, I must have watched that footage of me getting beat down maybe a thousand times over by now. And all week, ever since this happened, everybody been calling and texting and asking me this stupid question, which is K-Tuma, what's gonna be your answer? My answer to this is something simple, to the point. So, I need y'all to understand this. Maurice the Strong, Barnabas, the twins of Salem, for what y'all did, <laughs> with no regard, I applaud it. Because now we get to do something that I haven't done in a very, very long time. I talk about Black Air Force energy way too much for this not to convey the seriousness of this message right here. So in three simple words, you should know what I'm talking about when I say it's on site. The new $1.99 Sonic Crispy Tender Wraps are here for a limited time in bold flavors like Hickory Barbecue or Cheesy Baja. Give yourself some TLC, tender, love, and chicken for only $1.99. Sonic Crispy Tender Wraps. Comics, comics, kapow comics! It's the place for comic books, retro games, classic memorabilia, and more. Kapow Comics, 501-834-5769. We aren't just here to see patients. We're here to help people walk out our doors, whether it's life-saving trauma care, advancing oncology treatment, or helping patients reclaim their independence. We're always here for you. Regional One Health, specializing in tomorrows. This amateur wrestling, when I would lose, which wasn't very often, you can stop and quit. Or you can dust yourself off, take your loss like a man, get back in the lab. So I'm coming back bigger, faster, and stronger. Iron sharpens iron. That's why I'm here. They don't call me all the way ready for nothing. The following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. He's got it. Taking his way to the ring, accompanied by Big Nasty Phil from Huxley, Arkansas, main event, Bradley. Just when you thought these guys might have learned their lesson last week at Spring Break, presented by Hemphill CBD, they're back for more action up next. And introducing next, his opponent, all the way, Ray Collins. Iron sharpens iron. We 
We've seen all the way Ray training here at the Wrestle Center harder than ever after Super Bowl 3, including training with a man that we saw return last week, who we saw moments ago in Tim Bosby. But all the way Ray is back here today, one on one competition, allegedly, against main event Bradley. And I'll tell you, all the way Ray is looking good. Of course, main event Bradley was involved in last week's main event at spring break involving Alexander Hammerstone, TNA wrestling superstar, and of course, Big Nasty Phil. Now we are underway all the way, Ray, wearing the red and black, and main event Bradley wearing the yellow with the very loud, loud smell. I, I don't disagree there. You smell I mean, it? Well, the, the loud smell, yeah. You smell that. That's all the way from Hoxie, Arkansas. Are you from Hoxie? No, thankfully. Just went to school there, right? Yeah. Didn't have a choice. We were kids, you know. Big hip toss from all the way, Ray. Followed by a big body slam. Down goes main event, Bradley. Followed by a big drop kick. Hits right wow. on the button. And all the way, Ray is on fire. And wait a second. Is that? I think I just saw somebody sit in the front row behind the. Yeah. But wait a second, though. Ooh. Oh my goodness, what a drop kick right to the face after Big Nasty Phil distracts and shoves all the way Ray off the top rope. But in the background a second ago, I believe I saw Jay Webb sitting down. I, I don't think you're wrong. I think we Looking saw just here. a brief moment there. But I see Aaron back there. I see Keith. There's Crazy Lewis, Kathy Sue. Hey, no, right yeah. there. That was him. That has to be. I believe Jay Webb. And there he is. Jay Webb is ringside watching this. Had a little bit of involvement. He's sitting next to the enforcer. There's Keith. And he's pulling the same mind games that Bradley and Phil. Big neck breaker from all the way, Ray. Fantastic counter to that clothesline. And Ray Collins could get back in control here. I don't know. There's maybe a distraction. Big clothesline. J Webb may be trying to serve as a distraction for main event Bradley and big nasty Phil, but. Could be a distraction for all the way, Ray. Big cutter. Possibly a cutter, might not have gotten it all, but man, he landed and that was a two count. A near fall for main event Bradley. And all the way, Ray is still on the mat. He is, he's moving, but I don't know if he got the license plate off the truck that hit him. We saw a little bit earlier uh -oh. where Matt Williams is banned from ringside in an upcoming contest. Oh, wait a second, slice bread! That's still to come, plus our big main event. But all the way, Ray picks up a huge victory. Here is your winner, all the way, Ray Collins. All the way, Ray, with a big victory here on Memphis Wrestling. Let's take a look back at the action on Instant Replay, brought to you by Memphis Wrestling Live. This Saturday night, we're in Little Rock, Arkansas, with the Arkansas Travelers for Wrestling Night. Baseball and body slams, baby. Then this Sunday, we are live here at the Wrestle Center, featuring Buff Daddy Bagwell. He will be here live. That's this Saturday and Sunday. Get your tickets at MemphisWrestling.tv. All the way, Ray is not only back, but he's back to his winning ways. Huge match coming up next as All The Way Ray celebrates. Once again, I have Dustin Starr. He's Terrence Ward. Don't you dare turn that channel. We'll be right back. Well, they may want you after that. Uh, how you doing, Cody? Oh, you sit down? No, no. Hey. What's up, man? How you? All right. All right, listen. I just want just a, just a little bit of your time. So, you know, last week the Hustlers left us laying out of the parking lot. It was spring break. I mean, it was spring. I mean, we're here trying to have a good party out there, but they come out here and attack us. Listen. We want to match with those guys where they can't run, where they can't just you know do what they want to do. We want to match where we can have them in the ring all by ourselves. Hey guys, look, I was just standing there looking at Derek. Michael. Ray. So Mike. Cobra. Oh. Hey, listen, so I was just standing over there and I was just wondering, uh, I was thinking, I was hearing what you were saying. You know, I'm not thinking, I'm knowing. I think I got the answer. I know what you guys want, Cobra. You, you feel me? Same time, the set. One, two, three. Tornado, Tornado tag, tag match. match. Oh, how's that sound? I like it. Not bad. Not hey. bad. That sounds like we can keep it in. I got it. Okay, we'll, we can decide it and make it happen. We'll do it. I got you. 
High five. Just when we agreed that you were coming, I saw you had some surgery. What's the goal from the surgery? Will you ever be back in the ring again, or is this something that's going to take you out of the ring? Great question. The foot is, believe it or not, it looks horrible. The foot is very minor. Uh, major surgery, but still a very minor piece to it. Uh, the surgery is called hammer toe correction. It came from my Harley falling on my foot a week before I wrecked my car to ruin my right knee. The truth is, from jump, from jump, with me getting sober, I needed three surgeries. I needed two knee surgeries and one foot surgery to pro wrestle again and to be as close to 100% as Marcus Bagwell could be. So I got the knee replacement and then I got the foot done and then I go back in three months and do my knee. So in nine months, I will be either back in the ring or able to say I will never be back in the ring. The Memphis Wrestling Fan of the Week is sponsored by Orion Federal Credit Union. Check out all the ways that Orion is redefining banking at orionfcu.com. Our next free watch party at Dave & Buster's is AEW Dynasty. Join us Sunday, April 21st. It's free to watch. Plus, you'll get a free power card. That's Dave & Buster's in Memphis. Friday, May 3rd, Memphis Wrestling returns to West Carroll for a huge fundraiser benefiting the West Carroll Touchdown Club. Save $2 off advance tickets at memphiswrestling.tv. Can't make it to the shows, but still want signed photos, posters, action figures, and more? Shop the official Memphis Wrestling eBay store at memphiswrestling.tv. Hey, guys, how are you? It's Big John Dalton. No way. Oh, man. Uh, Matt, Matt, did you know that Big John Dalton is on a big, fat losing streak? I know. I bet, I bet there's no way he could win a match right now. Even if he tried, uh, probably not. Even if he tried, how does how you feel about trying? I want to try. How about you go one on one with Big John Dalton? Uh, uh, yeah, one on one, me and you. Sure, sure. Yeah. I'm not scared of him. That's, I'm not scared of Big John Dalton. That's right, Dalton. It'll be one on one. Yeah, one on one. Gaston's on a winning streak. No. Hey, sorry, me. I forgot to forgot to tell you. You sir are gonna be banned from ringside. What? What? Michael? 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 One on one. Yes. Welcome back to Memphis Wrestling, and you saw just a moment ago they're picking on Big John Dalton, but they might not have gotten exactly what they wanted. And I'm talking about the Memphis Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Lord Gaston and Sir Matt. Well, they bit off a little more than they could chew, but I'm still worried. I'm still wondering for previous weeks who was he on the phone to? Who did Big John Dalton? Who was he talking to when confronted by the tag team champs? I don't know, but right now it's time to put up or shut up. It's Lord Gaston going one on one with Big John Dalton, and Sir Matthew is banned from ringside. Not a storybook ending, I guess. Maybe a nightmare ending. Fans, it's up next. The following bout is scheduled for one fall. And to see first, making his way to the ring, he is one half of the Memphis Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Lord Gaston. A little hard coming out, right? Lord Gaston in singles action here today, and as you said a moment ago, might have bitten off a little bit more than he can chew. He's going one-on-one -on -one with Big John Dalton, and his counterpart, his tag team partner, is barred from ringside. Would you look at that? Yikes. One on one up next. Only a face of mother could love. Now I know why Tigers eat their young. And introducing next, his opponent, the baby face beast, Big John Dalton. Sorry, Terrence, I had to. Big G. Um, Dalton is here, and the capacity crowd is going absolutely bananas. You channeling your inner Justin Roberts there? That is impressive. Why not? Why not? He's the future Hall of Famer. 
He's the baby face beast from Ingomar. Can't wait to be back in Ingomar, Mississippi later this year. Also Pontotoc, Mississippi coming up. Benefiting St. Jude, lots going on in Mississippi, right in this man's backyard. But today, it's one-on-one -on -one to settle the score against one half of the Memphis Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Lord Gaston. How big is this backyard? Well, you know, Pontotoc is right there. Tupelo, of course, is right there. Of course, you got Ingomar, so they're all right there kind of together. So it's a pretty big backyard. But meanwhile, in the ring, the bell has rung, and Big John Dalton is already lighting up Lord Gaston. A little overzealous. You know, love him or hate him, Lord Gaston and, and, and Matt Williams, or excuse me. Yeah, go ahead and say something nice about Sir how they, uh, they fight. As I'm he not saying that. I'm just saying. Smears his face in the Listen, they still, still carry the championship titles. That is true. No lies detected on that. Oh, what a neck breaker. Down goes Big John Dalton. Looks like a one count. I'm going to say turn the page on that chapter. I'm going to count how many storybook puns you can get in during this match. Maybe how we can get the production crew. Maybe we can get the production crew to put a counter in the bottom of the screen. Maybe. All right, well, give me another one. That would be three, I think. You're already at two, I believe. Nightmare endings, storybook. Yeah, anyways. That was your line. Does that count? Anyways. Meanwhile, in the ring, Big John Dalton was not successful at Super Bowl Ooh. three. Meanwhile, Lord Gaston and Sir Matthew were. They made fun of Big John Dalton and they continue to bully him. But now it's time to put your money where your mouth is. And it's one on one. Thank goodness because of King Cobra and Michael. Well, you know, they, like you said earlier, they bit off a little more than they could chew. Approaching King Cobra and Mr. Michael, the matchmaker, assistant matchmaker, you can't go to the former world champion, King Cobra, and start making demands for anything. He's kicking right in the face using those the strings and the laces on his boot to rake across the face and eyes of Big John Dalton. And, and Dalton's in big trouble here. I mean, is that technically illegal? It would be no different than using your elbow pad to do the same. I, mean, I guess I, that, that is actually a very good point. You would be a very fancy cheater inside the squared circle. Pretty hidden, that's a, anyways. Big John Dalton face first in the Munford Pharmacy logo. And as you can see, Lord Gaston has Big John Dalton exactly where he wants him. Very close. Two count there. Yeah, he's done an impressive job so far, despite some of the alternative ways of trying to win the match. Big John Dalton has not been able to get that second. second wind, if you will. Don't speak too soon, because Big John Dalton looks like he's a little upset. Big shot. Down goes Gaston. Another Big John line. Dalton's on fire. Big sidewalk slam absolutely plants Gaston. One, two, and he got him. That's a three. Here is your winner, Big John Dalton. Big John Dalton gets the job done with Sir Matthew Band from ringside. Fans, don't you dare go away. Huge main event scheduled for King Cobra and Michael. It's Fan Vicious versus Michael one on one, and it's coming up next. Comics, comics, kapow comics! It's the place for comic books, retro games, classic memorabilia, and more. Kapow Comics, 501-834-5769. Join us for Memphis Wrestling Live this weekend. This Saturday, April 20th, Memphis Wrestling Tag Teams with the Arkansas Travelers for Wrestling Night. 405 opening pitch and stick around after the game for post-game matches featuring K-Tuber, The Gun Show, and more. This Sunday, April 21st, Buff Bagwell returns to Memphis Wrestling. Save $5 with the code BUFF at checkout. Then head over to Dave & Buster's for AEW Dynasty. It's free to watch, plus we'll give you a free power card. Friday, May 3rd, Memphis Wrestling returns to West Carroll for a huge fundraiser benefiting the West Carroll Touchdown Club. Sunday, May 5th, WWE legend Brooklyn Brawler is coming to Memphis Wrestling. 
Thursday, May 9th. Don't miss Bump and Grind Wrestling 2 at Lafayette's Music Room in Memphis. All tickets are on sale now. Get yours right now at memphiswrestling.tv. Can't make it to the shows, but still want signed photos, posters, action figures, and more? Shop the official Memphis Wrestling eBay store at memphiswrestling.tv. Gun Show, how you feeling? I'll tell you how I feel. I feel like I'm with the Reverend Zach. The following contest is set for one fall. It is our main event. Scheduled with television time remaining. Introducing first, making their way to the ring. He is accompanied by the Hollywood Click and his secret service, Delicious Van Vicious. Delicious Van Vicious got himself in a little trouble along with Jimmy Blaylock earlier. And look at this sign. It says, hated Hollywood and Carol. Baskin? What the hell does that have to do with anything? I don't know. I wonder how much that laundry bill was for the cake. Gave Jimmy Diabetes. Secret Service tearing up another sign, and meanwhile, and here comes some Mr. Mr. Michael. His opponent, Mr. Michael. Michael's got his sport coat on, he's got his tie around his <laughs> neck. But he's got his wrestling gear on. I don't even know what Michael is for. I mean, he's not doing a bad job, I guess. Yeah, no, absolutely. The show has been fantastic. It's been entertaining. And what a main event we have today. Michael going head to head with Stan Vicious. Although there are Secret Service and Jimmy Blaylock all around the ring. You know, I just realized that, that Mr. Michael has opposite color knee pads on until I again realized that his uh, singlet has both of those colors featured in his attire. Surprised he doesn't have two different boots on, but Van Vicious heading back into the ring. He thinks this is gonna be light work, and he's gonna take, take care of Michael, the assistant matchmaker. Now, King Cobra made this match a little bit earlier in the program, and here we are. And once again, if you missed it earlier, matchmaker King Cobra and the assistant matchmaker Michael are now officially under investigation with the championship committee. Yeah, I, I find that a little bit interesting because obviously, you know, we're limited on what information we have because it is a HR investigation. There's not much we can talk about outside of what has been publicly made known within the company. That's right. Michael is very beloved by the capacity crowd here at the Memphis Wrestling Wrestle Center. But we don't know what all has been said off the air either, Dustin. So now, a what? fair and impartial investigation. Good point. And you can hear the Boo Birds are out today in Memphis, Tennessee. No love for Van Vicious here today. Referee David Knight says ring the bell. But first, ah, the fans cheer. Referee David Knight more than they cheer Van Vicious. Okay. Come on, Mr. Michael needs to get his head in the game here. This is Van Vicious we're talking about. Michael having a little bit of fun here now. Here's what we do know about the investigation. We know that King Cobra and Michael are under investigation by the championship committee, all because of Jimmy Blaylock and the Hollywood Click. They came out and complained face to face. Not much was done about it. So they went over King Cobra and Michael's head and contacted the championship committee they said that these men are not fit to do the job here at Memphis Wrestling, and Jimmy Blaylock even said he could do a better job than King Cobra and Michael. I, I, I'm, I don't know how I feel about that last statement. Highly there. doubt that. If you think things would be called right down the middle with Jimmy Blaylock, you've got another thing coming. So King Cobra says, investigate us all you want. I still make the matches, and today it's Michael versus Van Vicious, and here we are. Michael out wrestling Van Vicious at the current moment. Got to be careful for those shoulders. Speaking of Van Vicious and his veteran experience here in Memphis wrestling, he has been here since day one. And I think he's been a problem since day one. He absolutely has been a problem since day one. He takes Michael down by the hair. That is illegal, by the way. 
But to be fair, Jimmy Blaylock has brought about some unique opportunities for Van Vicious throughout his time under his, uh, his guidance. Absolutely. If you like trouble, then you're all about Jimmy Blaylock. Oh, come on. I mean, the, the Van Vicious did have, I mean, let's be unbiased here. He did have a special appearance on a nationally produced program that was streamed on NBC and its affiliate uh, streaming app, Peacock. Well, congratulations. That's, that's great. It's true. Meanwhile, in the ring, Michael throwing some jabs again. Van Vicious is a heck of an athlete. He's been looked at by WWE multiple times. You're talking about Young Rock on NBC? Absolutely. But right now, he's eating so many lefts, he's begging for a right, and maybe, just maybe, Michael is gonna give it to him. Whoa! Took a little too long. Oh, maybe out of the ring, on the apron. Looks like Michael's trying to have eyes in the back of his head. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here we go. Gain her feet! Down goes Van Vicious. Woo. Michael heading to the top, perhaps. Van Vicious fell over like a, like a tree in the middle of the woods. Fans are chanting Michael as Van Vicious stops Michael on the top rope. We say it all the time, it's high risk, high reward, especially when both men are on the top. Belly to back suplex off the top rope. That could be very, very dangerous for both Van Vicious and Mr. Michael. Headbutts, another dangerous move, but that sends Van Vicious flat on his back. Michael gets back to his feet. Oh my Moon God! Salt, and he hit it! Taking Michael, some damage himself. Absolutely, going to say it looks like Michael hurt himself. Can't capitalize with a cover. Mr. Michael rolling, you see Jimmy Blaylock there with some concern on his face, but Mr. Michael going for the cover, but really close to the road. Look at this, Secret Service got involved. We saw you, Secret Service. I mean, we're not dumb senior, fans here. Senior official David Nye does have a large discretion as far as outside. And what is this? Involvement. Jimmy Blaylock up on the apron. Now he's caught by Michael. So much going on here at ringside. You've got to oh, be kidding he me. He has got an equalizer. That's not an equalizer. That's a chain. And he just hit Michael right in the face with it. Now the cover. Come on, kick out of that. Michael's knocked out. And we've got a winner. Absolutely disgusting. Here is your winner, Delicious Van Vicious. Delicious Van Vicious picks up the big victory and we're all out of time fans we are live this saturday and sunday little rock in memphis get those tickets at memphiswrestling.tv and until then i am dustin star he's terrence ward and the hollywood click are victorious here today